Hey, it's Craig. And I got my 1994 Kit Fox 4 1200, which is normally a float plane on the on floats in the summertime. It's uh 10th of November right now, and uh it's in the garage. I got it on the wheel gear because I end up putting skis on it for uh you know, freeze up season in a month or so, a couple of months. And uh Anyway, I'm just working on something. I've been wanting to, anxious to get this thing started again. Uh, I've had problems with the ignition modules in that it's cold start situations where they've got to be warmed up in order to start. Typ typical uh, old module, uh, you know, slow death scenario. Uh, but the more than that would be the fact that it doesn't shut off clean all the time and when you're on floats coming into a dock and the engine doesn't shut off it's kind of unnerving I mean it, it, it shuts down but it doesn't completely shut down it sort of ticks over almost like the old cars in the 70s and 80s that ran on but it's not that it's just that it uh, doesn't have a direct uh, the wires have been repaired down in here close to the close to the epoxy I've repaired them once when I got this thing 10 years ago and then you know this year I did it again uh, but there's no more wire left to repair it's getting too close to the modules so and they're old old modules this is a these are it's a 912 UL and uh, these are four pin modules with uh, sure plugs uh, so what I've done is I've heard about these Ig Ig Ignitech or Ignitech modules that uh, are made from a company in the Czech Republic, Ignitech is the company, and uh, they can be mounted rear of the firewall, which is what I've done here. They are equipped with comm cables, which might be hard to see, comm cables that you can hook your computer up to and they send you the software and you can change and uh, diddle with the timing curves, but I'm not gonna do that. They are programmed with the original Rotex 912 timing curve. They make them for the UL and the uh, the 912, uh, you know, the uh, 100 horse as well, and uh, four pin, six pin, whatever configuration they are, they make them. Uh, very, very inexpensive, about a quarter of the price that Rotex modules would be worth if I could get them, but apparently they're made out of unobtainium, unobtainium and they're not available. But, uh, and if I was to upgrade to the newer ones, uh, the six pin ones, then uh, they'd be way, way, way too expensive. Well, you know, whatever. But I'm gonna try these. So they come with stock 75 centimeter long harnesses, say two feet long, and you can uh, run them through the firewall, through a grommet, and uh, remove these modules, which I haven't done yet, and these will connect directly straight up. Um, two things, these are AC-DC modules. They can start on DC or run on DC or they can uh, start on DC and convert to AC or they can just run on AC. And by that I mean uh, it doesn't necessarily have to get the power from the stator. So right here I've, I've wired it in back behind the firewall and this is where I'm picking up my DC start uh, signal. And what happens is as long as I hit the starter button I've got a 12 volt feed that goes into these modules. And uh, that's enough. That's great start signal and uh, provides uh, a good signal for starting. You don't have to wait for the engine to get to a certain speed or whatever. Uh, and especially if it's colder or, or, or if the cranking speed is slower and the battery's a little weak or whatever. Uh, and then as soon as it starts and you release the starter button, the power goes away from the DC feed and it now picks it up through these yellow and black wires connected to the stator, which they're not connected yet. Uh, I'm just sort of in the process of doing this. Uh, but these will be removed. These will hook up where these are connected. And I'm anxious and uh, excited to see how this is going to work. Uh, so, yeah, that's one thing I'm doing. The other thing is, uh, excuse me, I just put my spinner on. It's an Ivo in-flight adjustable prop. And I had a skull cap Ivo spinner, which, you know, is pretty good. You know, it's all right. But uh, the original spinner was never installed. I didn't build this airplane, I did buy it from the builder. He had the spinner on it originally, but it wasn't on it properly. It was basically just bolted to the front of the IVO. It was really not not done right. So I've made the cutouts here uh, to fit the uh, hub properly and 
and done the drillings and all that and it looks pretty good I think it's gonna work pretty good I'm pretty sure I got it all centered I built a little bulkhead at the end of the Ivo uh, motor housing which is uh, gonna support it at this end even though it's a very very light spinner probably isn't even required but uh, I don't want anything cracking or whatever and the other thing was I had the uh, in-flight adjustable motor out anyway because I had a sheared gear this the uh, carrier pinion which is very small I mean microscopic it's a little double planetary gear set in there way back up in there and uh, I had to change that and uh, yeah in-flight adjustable system on Ivo's uh, UL prop here works completely amazing I'm very happy with it works beautiful um, another thing I've done while I'm talking here there's my heater motor electronic fan I put a little electronic 12 volt fan up here on my regulator uh, just to kind of keep some airflow as soon as I turn the master on that fan starts turning just to keep an airflow over that even though and it's behind the firewall so it stays sort of uh, in in pretty good health anyway I've, I've had to replace that once and it's not uh, easy on the pocket pocketbook to change but anyway it's my uh, couple of things I'm working on before it goes on skis and then eventually uh, you know again back into the garage after uh, let's say uh, mid mid to late March and then uh, back on floats for next year it's a good float flying season this past summer and uh, I've, I've really enjoyed this airplane very convenient to be able to fold the wings put it in the garage I love it Kit Fox you did a good job making these kits here and I know everyone is different there's probably no two exactly alike but uh, I've been fairly happy one of these days I'll, I'll make an upgrade to my panel uh, it's got basically steam gauges and uh, you know old school handheld radio but all that stuff works good and all that stuff is good for what I do I don't do on I don't go through a lot of controlled airspace even though I'm capable of doing that I don't have a transponder which would have been nice which would be nice and maybe one day I'll uh, revamp the whole panel but for now oh and I was going to show you right here kit uh, Ignitech sends you a beautiful schematic which is very clear cut it shows the two modules the two converters it shows you uh, all the color wires all the hookups you got your four pin connector and your the other plugs it shows you exactly what to do and uh, how to hook it up very clear Ignitech is very very uh, thorough in uh, in in uh, in their product here and uh, I'm excited to get this thing fired up and I'll maybe throw another video out there when I do our kidoki have a great one